up guys welcome to another episode of fish lippers i was gonna sit around today and be lazy but i got up and went to the gym went and did laundry got back home folded the laundry put it up and i got about three or four hours of daylight left and I was thinking it's really nice out. The temperatures then got a little warmer. Why not? Let's go uh let's go try a little river fishing today. Sounded like a good plan to me. So I went in the garage, grabbed a few new things that I bought. I think y'all will be interested in. As you know, last episode we turned you on to the Guggen Micro Banger. So I went ahead and Went online and grabbed a couple more because they're hard to find anywhere, guys. If you uh, if you look at these baits when we're using them and you like them, uh, they're hard to find. They did have them at Dick's Sporting Goods for a little while. And uh, after they were sold out, it was like they were gone. They didn't get back in. Now, the price tag on them, a little expensive. They're like $8.99 if you get them from a retail store. Uh, but I went on Carl's Tackle and found them for 4 dollars I believe it was, at Carl's Tackle, so which is a phenomenal price for these micro bangers. So check out Carl's before you go roaming around the retail stores and spending too much money on these little baits. So, But anyway, I picked up something a little extra. While I was there, I got a micro zinger a Guggen micro zinger so let me show you the the micro zingers we got today I got it in the sexy shad color of course in the river it's one of my favorite colors but this is that bad boy there check it out beautiful beautiful bait you can see the size of my hand and how it fits in my hand when we get down to the water I'll show you more about the size I haven't used these yet I mean the way they're made though Guggen you pay you pay some for the for the base, of course, but the quality of the material they use, in my opinion, well worth it. So anyway, I got the sexy shad color, of course. And then always my favorite, one of my favorite colors at the river, whenever I'm fishing for smallmouth, hot pink. So hot pink, white, sexy shad, probably my go-to colors for river fishing. So we got the hot pink one. This one will definitely get thrown today, I believe. And I also picked up the micro bangers. Micro bangers, baby. That's what I'm talking about. I mean, just look at that. Don't that look juicy? Look at that. Amazing looking bait. Two of the best colors I think they come in. I believe that they are just going to be delicious for these smallmouth bass. They'll be all over them. I'm sure they will. I can't wait. Anyway, without further ado... Let's get down to the river. Let's get some lines wet. Let's catch some fish. I'm ready. I know you're ready. Let's get to it. To the water we are here not but a short walk down the road here uh i was just thinking as i was getting my stuff together i forgot to remind you guys make sure that you definitely subscribe to the channel it helps so much i truly appreciate it smash that like button every chance you get that helps the channel as well hit that little bell that way you can keep up with all the future fish lipper adventures and last but not least make sure you share the video sharing the video is probably one of the most important things that you can do for the fish lippers channel because that puts us in the eyes of more viewers of course and it's truly truly appreciated by myself love you guys so much let's get to fishing i'm so excited i'm so ready i got my gear ready let's go i'm gonna slap you to my chest let's go fishing all right here we go 
This spot we're going to, guys, I've been here a couple times. Sometimes this spot is really good to me. And then sometimes this spot can be super tough. Hopefully it'll be good today. We haven't had rain in a couple days, so I'm hoping we got some good water clarity. Last video that we had, man, I really hated to even show that. Because me being a Virginia boy, coming up here to Ohio, these rivers are something that I really brag to my friends and my family back home about the clarity of the water, the beauty of the water. Uh, so hopefully today it'll look a little bit better. So far it looks decent from what I'm looking at right here. So let's see if we can ease down here without falling and breaking our tailbone. Ugh. Wow, guys, now that's the water clarity I was talking about. Just seeing something break right over there. I don't know if it was a fish or what. Let's go fishing. I wonder what it's going to feel like. Uh, yeah, all right. <clears throat> We've been having some cold mornings here, so... Uh, the water temperature has definitely dropped, but for smallmouth fishing, I guess that's what you want, right? Oh, I forgot to show you guys. Sorry. This is the one I chose to go with. I love that flashy scale color on the paint job, the chartreuse belly. This thing ought to really pick them up today guys the micro banger one thing guys I have noticed about river fishing and creek fishing uh, working your way fishing upstream to me seems like I do better uh, Sorry guys, I'm seeing all kinds of little fish here. I don't know if y'all can see them, but so many of them. Anyway, working your way upstream seems to work out better for me. Uh, I noticed I catch more fish, I feel like, when I walk upstream than I do when I go downstream. And I think that is because as I'm walking up, I'm not disturbing the water that's up ahead of me. When I'm working my way down river, I'm clouding the water up. And like, like all animals, I, you know, I believe these fish know this kind of stuff. You know, they, they might not know that, they might not know that it's a human, but they are gonna definitely just assume that it's some sort of predator working its way downstream to them. The sun's still shining on that side over there. And that's the deeper side. And I don't like that. Because these fish, like I said before, they're not dumb. Not only do they got fox and raccoons, possums, all that coming to the edge of the water. But they got birds. And when that sun is shining down on the deeper part of the water, this being the shallow part, that being the deeper part, these fish will tuck so far up in that grass and them weeds right there until that sun goes away. So that way, them birds and those predators can't see them. Uh-oh, guys. We got something. We're on. Fish on. Fish on. I feel like he's swimming right at me. Fish on. Fish. What is this? Oh my God, it's one of those 
sucker fishes. I don't know what these are, guys. Oh, sucker fish. I don't know what. Guys, let me know in the comments. What is this? I call them a knotty head. Look at the head. It has got a bunch of little knots on it. I have to look this up. I wish he'd come off on his own, but that's not going to happen. A little slimy joker. I mean, check him out. A little booger. Mm. Got me. Can y'all believe I came out here without... Oh, there he goes. That's the noise they make. All right. That's the best I can show him. Here. All right, I'm going to let this guy go. He's not what we're looking for. He's all tangled up in my line. There you go. Bye-bye. Well, you know what? We appreciate him, though. You know what I'm saying? I mean, we freaking appreciate him. I got one guys you better stay on there you better stay you better stay don't you do it <laughs> don't you do it sucker don't you do it you better not stay down stay down stay down this looks like a little 12 incher he's a fighter too He's a fighter. We got to get him in, guys. We got to have this one. We got to have this one. <sighs> guys, you will not believe what just happened. As soon as I caught that fish, my battery went dead. And a couple other things. A couple other things went wrong oh man look at this look what I got oh finally guys finally we caught one finally I ain't got much long much time to show this guy because he's been out of the water for a minute I just tried to put him back Oh, man he's so beautiful thank you buddy thank you so much we gotta let this one go guys i know we've been searching forever he's such a beautiful beautiful guy but we got to get him going so nothing happens to him and then i got a quick story to tell you about what happened here all right let's get this guy back all right buddy all right here we go come on there you go get out of here Whew. guys I catch him. The camera goes dead. He swims between my legs. And this happens. And I can't get it out. <laughs> so now, you got to remember, I'm all the way almost on the other side over there. With the hook, bait, and fish all attached to my leg. And it was just a fantastic situation. Getting from over there back over to here was just, I don't know what to say, guys. I have to now work on getting this right here out of my freaking sock. Stay tuned. All right, we're back to 100% battery. We got the micro zinger on there. I'm going to keep fishing this pool, guys. I mean, I don't want to walk too far because the sun has set behind the trees. And I do got a couple hours left of light, but I don't want to be treaching through these rocks when I can't see. So 
we're going to uh, we're going to stay right in this little pool right here. I think that, that we can catch fish right here. I mean, that one just came from right here. So we're going to we're going to give this little thing a let's see if we can try this thing. I mean, wow, the vibration feels great. It's got good weight to it. Good weight to it. Good vibration coming off the tip of my rod. I love having that vibration. Got one. I don't know if I got a good hook. He came off. I knew it. That hook set did not feel good. Man. What the world? Come on. Shoot. I'm struggling here. I'm struggling. <sighs> I just don't want to, he is, he is nailing it. Oh, got him. Get up here. Is this a bluegill? Now, that is a prime example. Prime example of what I'm talking about. Look at that. Catch it all with this. Oh, let's go over here. Man. Oh, let's see if we can get our grippers on this guy. Shoo! The little zinger, guys. Look at that. The zinger. Let's see if we can get that little mouth there. Check him out. Beautiful. Look at that. Look at it. He's got like this pink look to him, you know? Wow, what a beauty. What a beauty. Thank you so much, guy. Thank you so much. We appreciate you. Let's put you back. Whew. Thank you for playing, buddy. All right. Yeah. I'll take them, guys. I don't care about the monsters. I just want to catch some fish. Let's catch some freaking fish. That's three. Might not be the three you want to see, but it's three. <laughs> I'll take it. Hard as I work, hook in the sock, almost in the leg, hook in the finger, bleeding to death. Look, man, I'll take it. I ain't mad at it, you know? I am not mad at it <clears throat> i tell you i don't catch many bluegill at all in this river so that was kind of cool really kind of cool and i thought i would do something with these two with the river splitting right here and they you know coming back together right here at this point that's not what i thought i was going to catch but Felt some tapping it too. Boop, 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 boop. Man, if I could get one or two more, we'd be golden, guys. Uh oh, I just got hit again. I just got hit again. Come on now. Come on now. Get on there. Come on, get on there. That's the one thing about using them micro baits. So you gotta weed through them. Get a lot of bites, cause a lot of them smaller, real small aggressive fish will try to hit it. Got one, 
good googly moogly. That's what I'm talking about. This 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 feels like a fish here now. He ain't no giant, but maybe a rock bass? Maybe a giant rock bass. He's coming right at me, guys. Look at this guy. <laughs> hey now. Talk to me, Zinger. Talk to me, Zinger. Talk to me. That's what I'm talking about. Oh, rock bass. Oh, Rocky. I figured we find one sooner or later. Let's see if we can get him. I hope we can. Hey, look at that. I mean, look at that hook. That's in there, baby. Yes. We got you, buddy. We got you, buddy. I mean, that's a beauty, guys. Look at that. Look at that fish, man. Look at them eyes. That's just a beautiful fish. Oh, fatty. Look at that. Ha! Man, it was a hard stretch of walking, but we're finally getting into something, guys. We are getting into something. You can't ask for no more than that, guys. Come out here, catch a few fish, go home, edit some footage, lay back, relax. Man, I love it. I freaking love it. Let's go. Thank you for playing, buddy. We're going to let you go, let you get out of here. Thank you so much. Go get bigger. Go get bigger. All right. All right. Ha. Bam. The zinger, man. The zinger's coming through. All right. All right. All right, guys. I am back to the car. Whew. What a walk. I am so exhausted. Super tired. Can't wait to get back to the house. Hey guys, we didn't catch a whole lot. We caught a few. I can't complain, you know, if uh, if you went out and, and you caught a whole stringer every time, they'd call it catching and not fishing. And today, we went fishing. Guys, I'm gonna let you go. I had an amazing time today. I'm ready to get home. I'm tired. I'm ready to eat some dinner. Start working on this video for you guys. Till the next time, make sure you like and subscribe bang that notification bell guys that way you can catch up with all of the future fish lippers videos i truly appreciate it make sure you share these videos guys just like i mentioned earlier sharing them to your friends to your family to everyone helps me out so much and i truly appreciate it until next time guys i will check you later